I disagree with Alvin Gentry benching Lonzo Ball with 6.29 left in the quarter, and I disagree with him for benching Lonzo Ball for all of the fourth quarter. Alvin Gentry made a colossal mistake by benching Lonzo Ball all that time. Lonzo Ball only played about 24 minutes. That was wrong. Lonzo Ball deserved more than that. He deserved to play at least 40 minutes. He is a star caliber player. He is a fantastic facilitator. Alvin Gentry should have given him way more playing time. How can you bench a star player like Lonzo Ball for the entire fourth quarter? That makes no sense to me. The only logical explanation that I can think of is that Lonzo Ball was hurt. I'm hoping that's the case. If he wasn't hurt and Alvin Gentry chose not to play him, then Alvin Gentry was flat out wrong. You don't bench a talented, gifted player like Lonzo Ball. When you do stuff like that, it can fracture the team. It can cause a schism. It could cause disharmony within the team. And that's the last thing that the Pelicans need. Anthony Davis wanted to leave and he left and ended up being traded to the Lakers. So New Orleans is still reeling from that. Now, they did get back Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram and Josh Hart. So they got back some great pieces. They got back some great players in exchange for having to give up Anthony Davis. The last thing this team needs is for dysfunction and in-house fighting and disgruntled players. If Alvin Gentry continues to bench Lonzo Ball and treat him the way that he treated him, it's going to cause a schism within the team and this could derail their season. I'm hoping that this doesn't happen anymore. Because I believe in the Pelicans. Even with Zion Wilson being out, I still believe that they can win some games. And the good news is that Zion will be back in about two months. So when they get him back, I'm sure they're going to be even better than they are right now. And I believe that they will hold down the fort till he gets back. So they're going to pick up the scoring slack. They're going to just all uplift each other. And they're going to just rally around each other and play well. That's what I predict is going to happen. My concern is that if Alvin Gentry benches players like Lonzo Ball and Drew Holiday, if he does things like that, it could hurt the team. It doesn't make no sense to me that he would bench Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball only had what? Eight points and five assists in the game, and he only played like 24 minutes. No way. Had he gotten his Playing time, so had he played about 40 minutes, 42 minutes, I'm sure his stats would have been better. I even believe that the Pelicans would have won that game. I am hoping that Alvin Gentry does not continue to bench Lonzo Ball. If he does, I don't think Lonzo Ball will be happy about it. He may start to sulk and pout. He may start to rebel and be difficult and that could hurt the team. Lonzo Ball did not look happy when I saw him out there last night. So, Alvin Gentry has to figure this out. Figure out how to give Lonzo Ball his minutes. Because we know that Lonzo Ball can play. He deserves to be the starting point guard. There's no question there. Nobody on the Pelicans can pass the ball like him. So he is perfect for that team. And I like Alvin Gentry as a coach. I believe this man knows his X's and O's. He deserves to be a head coach. He deserves to be the coach of that team. And I do believe that he will make the Pelicans better. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to be legitimate Western Conference contenders. So I do see them making the Western Conference Finals. And down the road, when Zion Williamson gets healthy and plays with them down the years, they're probably going to make it to the NBA Finals as well. The problem is, I don't want Alvin Gentry sabotaging this by benching star players and doing things of that nature. 
That's the last thing the Pelicans need. Hopefully, Lonzo Ball will get his quality playing time because he deserves that. He deserves to get quality minutes. So I'm hoping that nothing like this will happen again for Lonzo Ball or any of the other Pelican players who are deserving of quality playing time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I will be putting out more content like this and I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of it. So definitely press that subscribe button below this video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.